Wayfair is ready to make your holiday season even more joyful. Shop all things home for you and everyone on your gift list with an incredible selection of furniture, decor, and more. All with an amazing value that'll make this holiday season the best one yet. And right now, Wayfair is turning up the savings even more with huge deals and sales. Plus, thousands of items ship fast and free. Head to Wayfair.com or download the Wayfair app in the App Store to shop the latest limited deals so you can deck it all. Hi, I'm Bran, and I love Max Christmas movies. I'm Dan, and I despise Max Christmas movies. I'm Alonzo, and I heart, I heart, I heart, I heart, I heart, and this <laughs> is, is the Deck the Hallmark, Hallmark Podcast. Podcast. Deck the Hallmark, it's his podcast. <laughs> Bran, Dan, and friends host his podcast. <laughs> we hope you like this jolly podcast. <laughs> Well, hello, you wonderful oh, folks. Boy. I do appreciate Alonzo getting us on schedule for our iHeartMedia quota that yes. we have to reach today. <laughs> I heart that uh, about you. I heart that about you. And if you're watching on Philo, you'll see that we really are saying it. We're not putting it in afterwards through ADR. No, we are not. We are, I heart, we are I heart. really saying iHeartMedia. And a fun thing, I don't know if you know this, you can listen to our podcast on the iHeartRadio app. Mm. You certainly can. Yes. I heart people that listen on the iHeartRadio app. <laughs> Exactly right. That's right. If you're listening on the iHeartRadio app, let us know. That's right. Emails. Yeah, that's a good way to listen. And if you are like, you'll know that if you saw this movie before you listen to the iHeartRadio app, that you, that we have said the term iHeartRadio maybe about half the number of times that it was said in the movie. <laughs> I stopped counting at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah as you should. Yeah. Um, I've stopped counting the amazing ways that Philo has impacted my life because it's too many. <laughs> I don't know. I wanted to bring it back. Philo's amazing. Was what I'm trying to say. Your Philo TV. Um, uh, have you That's heard the exactly good news? Right. Have you heard it? Philo TV DTH. If you want to watch our show and so much more, uh, we are just just about a month. Yeah, this away. Thursday at noon, they're going to announce the schedule. <laughs> I have already called it because we recorded Friday's episode already, and I said they released it yesterday. So I'm calling it Thursday at noon. Wow. See, I don't. I, the noon part is what uh, where it falls apart for me because I think it's going to be one of those things where it's going to be like it's going to pop up on like they're going to give an exclusive to like PeopleMagazine.com or People.com or whatever, and it's going to run at like six in the morning Eastern time. I the reason I'm saying but noon no. is because last year it mm -hmm. it came out at noon eastern time really okay. last okay. year because i Maybe. went to a lunch you were in mexico they usually do it at like 10 or 11 brian was in the office i was at lunch and my phone started blowing up as i was at lunch the schedule's coming out at noon they're releasing it they're releasing it i got in my car and i sped back to the office by the time it was released so we could get you on the line and alon's on the line and it was at noon that's when it happened Okay, so maybe I'm wrong, man. I but I y'all better not have this conversation without me this year, wherever yeah, I am. Yeah, like, of uh, course, I'll and, drop and it will be this Thursday at noon. So put it on your calendar. Uh, <laughs> will do. Very, very, very excited. Is it a bold move? Yeah. Is it easy to say that you're wrong? Yes. You know. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Very excited, and then the ball I don't starts. Hear you to guys predicting it? Um, I Wednesday. Wouldn't. I think it's actually happening on Wednesday. At 11 a.m. 11 a.m. Eastern. Alonzo? Okay. God's time. Uh, Tuesday at 10. Tuesday at 10. Wow, tomorrow. Tomorrow. Tomorrow at 10. <laughs> Here's the exciting thing, though. Is One of us is right. <laughs> this is just the, kind of the start of the snowball. That's right. Because we've actually, we already have the Up TV uh, schedule, yep. which is exciting. Hallmark happens. Lifetime happens. Netflix happens. It all starts to yeah. kind of come a trickle out over the next month or so. And then it's time for us to get going. Reviewing oh, yeah. just just turkeys turkeys of movies turkeys <laughs> of movies yeah like just is big old turkeys quantity or uh, like yeah like a turkey and bowling is three strikes yes yeah, so three <laughs> like turkey triads of movies infinity turkeys there's just there's just myriad <laughs> turkeys of movies out yeah. here yeah Sa save turkeys you're gonna want that term for later I think. that's true um yeah. also though we are getting not just the those the the up announcement but like 
Uh, Prime has announced Candy Cane Lane with Eddie yes. Murphy that's going to drop in early mm. December. Uh, Disney Plus is doing uh, Dashing Through the Snow with Laurel Howery and Chris Ludacris Bridges and Teona Paris, which Tim Story directed, yep. and that's going to be uh, in November sometime. And uh, just last week at the Toronto Film Festival, they premiered um, a film called El Sabor de la Navidad that is going to air on VIX, which is... A thing I always see an ad for whenever I turn on my Roku, uh, which is apparently an all Spanish language is, streaming is service. Is that the flavor of Christmas? Technically, yes. But from what the press release said, the current English language title is A Merry Mexican Christmas. Okay. Who knows what they're going to okay. go with? Got it's it. Salma Hayek's production company is right. behind it. So, But um, is, it, at, is it all in Spanish? I'm thinking yes, okay. and w- whether or not there will be English subs, I don't know. I've never watched Vix, so I don't know how they've got it set up. Well, um, we'll find out because yeah. we're going to do this all over again next year, and yeah. I'm sure we will, uh, if we don't get to it this holiday season, we will get to it sometime next year. Um, even if it's not in English, I think we should do it anyway, and then y'all can tell <laughs> me what you think happened in the movie, and I'll try and translate. We will get canceled. Uh, <laughs> I, I think that's that's the line. Me that's trying. Right. I Listen, I've tried yeah. in good faith before, but that's yeah. that would get out of hand that baby i love hand. that your like 12th pronunciation of quinceanera is good faith yeah <laughs> quinceanera He's getting there He's yeah getting there. I'm, right. I'm trying guys right. i'm putting yeah. in the work yeah. um have you do uh, uh, i earlier this year <laughs> on christmas morning i talked about a movie that was in production with the rock and ryan reynolds is this ringing oh, a right. bell Yes, it's a uh, r- red red one. Yeah, it's That's like right. a it's an action uh, Santa, Santa yeah. situation. J.K. Simmons I, is Santa, That's but I don't know if it I don't know if it finished production before the strikes or not. Good question. They've been that's been bumping around for a while. Like they were talking about it last year, yeah. so I'm hoping it's done. I, I hope so. I don't too. feel like I've heard any Netflix like, hasn't announced Netflix. their stuff yet. Yeah. Uh, so, so we'll but, see. Yeah, mm. <sighs> and right now they're uh, e- is it eBay that's doing the uh, the auction for the, yeah. the workers the strikes? Oh yes, I'm just they're telling you right now. It, yeah. If anybody wants to help us get a uh, a <laughs> dinner with Bob Odenkirk and David Cross, we'd be happy to let you bid on our behalf because <laughs> we were we saw the bid was at nine hundred dollars and we're like company money it's happening and then we're like oh there's still there's six nine days, days left in this auction yeah we don't have a prayer never and mind you'd have to fly to L A for that too I think uh, you know what I, I was booking your travel to come here and do you know how much it costs to get from Atlanta to L A and back on Spirit Airlines <laughs> I do not one hundred and four dollars wow F- fifty two dollars one way. Wow, to, that's from, and it's scary. and it's direct. It's a direct flight, Alonzo. <laughs> Nonstop, fifty-two bucks. So I do it. Any ideas? And <laughs> I just want everyone to know. And that, I didn't book you on that flight, so you're thank welcome. You. That Dan's <laughs> done that flight from Atlanta to LA. Yes, I have a late a late night flight to yeah. get to Kelly Clarkson, and he was fine. I was fine. It was one of the better flights I've ever been on. Actually, wow. I got the big chair in the front row. I paid an extra 50 bucks, so double the cost of the ticket, and I got the front row big chair, and it was fantastic. Well, going on Spirit is like an e-bike in that you have to pedal. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done, but, Thank you. you know, incorrect. <laughs> yeah. Mm. My, uh, this, is a, uh, this is tough for me to talk about, but I ended up selling the e-bike. <laughs> I yeah, he did. Of course he did. You know why? What? Because he wanted to get an actual workout. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> oh. You oh, always talk about it's pickle. It's pickleball. I do pickleball. Big whoop. I love pickleball. <laughs> Big whoop. I pick up a real racket. If I, this is the same as I pick up a real Do a real thing. No, you come yeah. play pickleball. Pickleball. Pickleball with me one time. Just I would love to. You never tell me when you're going. No, we'll do a we'll do a, a, an office pickleball game. We'll take Brian and you and Aaron and me out to the pickleball That's courts. A pretty good vlog. It's and a we'll good vlog. And we'll vlog it. It's a good vlog. It's the least we could do. It's a good vlog. It'll, It'll be come up by March. It'll be up by March. That's exactly right. Uh, let's talk about Holiday Harmony. Uh, I heart. Um, it originally aired on the Max on November twenty fourth, twenty twenty two, and it went a little something like. There was any sponsors that were I don't know. Max fund this? You think completely? I don't know. Oh, you think iHeart maybe tossed them a few? Possible. Bucks? Okay, it's right, possible. Cool, cool. And it went a little something like this. Gail is a struggling musician. She's gigging at bars, playing music for people that just don't really care. Her dream may be coming true though, thanks to a contest with 
Say it with me. iHeartRadio. That's exactly right. She gets selected to play the iHeart Christmas Eve Showcase, which is very exciting. Apparently, iHeart on Christmas Eve gets a bunch of independent artists together to showcase their uh, their talent. So she hops into her van and she's going to travel across the country um, and make it to L.A. by Christmas Eve, which is when the showcase is. She's going to play gigs in all the cities that she stops in. And uh, one day, uh, things are going well and she's getting a nice little uh, audience on her social media. She's going live and being yeah. like, wow, more people. Uh, she gets a call from iHeart, and uh, they iHeart tells her that they want her to do an original song, and she's like, "The only problem with this is I don't have any originals." But she says she will make it happen. She'll have an original. It's going to be great. She's freaking out, and uh, then she looks up from her phone and she sees an alpaca. Um, she swerves uh, to not hit the alpaca, but ends up hitting a wooden fence, which like totally uh, messes up her car. She thinks that she uh, hit the alpaca and died because she's just laying there, but it's just being a silly boy. Likes to play dead. She's being a little, being a little silly boy. It's fine. And uh, so sh- the van comes up who owns this land, and uh, she tells Gail that she'll help her fix the van. So Van, who's going to fix the van, has a hunky son named Jeremy, and Jeremy is, says it's going to take about two weeks to fix the van. And the news gets worse. It's going to cost more than she has. The news gets worse. Her guitar neck is broken. This is all a mess. So she has to figure out how she's going to pay for those repairs. So Jeremy has an idea. Because you can't just get a job. Not enough time. Not enough time. Probably 725 won't make that much money gig in. Yeah. And so Jeremy has an idea. They need a music teacher at the middle school to help with the gala. The gala, the gala. gala. And uh, if they win, there's cash money. Cash prizes for, for, for the, the kiddos. That's exactly right. So you'll get paid to do the thing and then hopefully also cash money for winning the, the contest or the gala. So she's nervous at first uh, because she's never been a teacher before, but... Uh, wouldn't you know it? She's sister acting this son of a gun. She's good at it. She's oh, out there day. just like doing, uh, being really good at like, hey, oh, put a book, day. put a book on your tummy. It'll help with your diaphragm and stuff like that. Uh, naturally, Gail and Jeremy they start hanging out a ton, um, talking about how um, she grew up as a foster kid and kind of bounced from house to house, and she never was like in one place for very long. And he shares how about how he lost his brother and has struggled with that and all this good stuff. They end up uh, kissing. They end up knocking boots. Can I say that? You said it before. So I, think I said it on this show? It. That's They're right. Knocking boots. Um, but then things get away from us quickly because... In a twin-size loft bed. Yes. Uh, don't even. <laughs> don't even. Good luck. <laughs> good. Intimacy. Uh, no right. kidding. Yeah. Um... <laughs> I'm not sleeping. Like, There's I, I no just, world. <laughs> a, a night's worth of sleep, you're out of your mind. <laughs> if you can sleep that and close to someone this else. This isn't an old thing. No. I would not, at, at 18, there's no world. That's not enough room to sleep. Not enough room. Not enough room to sleep. For me. Anyway. Um, <laughs> the next morning, he like accidentally finds her notebook that has like a, a stay or go thing and then and then she rearranges his brother's room he gets mad about that uh it's a lot of stuff anyway the the van is fixed and it's time to go to la problem is what about the kids yeah what about the kids performance well what can you do screw them i heart la i heart um so she goes to uh uh la for i heart and i heart radio is the worst is they're they're monsters that's what i heart wanted you to know about them (laughs) that's how they wanted their brand put out into the world and so they're like changing her look they're rewriting her song they're doing all sorts of stuff and she gets out there with her new look and her new song version and she's like this just isn't me i'm getting out of here i'm gonna go back to the kids i'm gonna i'm gonna go win that gala so she hops on a plane from lax (laughs) and uh she lands they perform and it is a truly original song it is that (laughs) and um they win they win 
they win the prize. And they're like all like, sing us a song. <laughs> sing, sing us, us a song. song. So she's like, don't make, don't me, make me sing. sing. She immediately gets out there. She sings. Van then has her phone up. And she's probably just like, yeah, it's just just recording me with her phone. No, no, no. That's being piped right on in to the I Heart Christmas Eve showcase. She's getting to sing the song that she wants to sing the way she wants to sing it straight from a phone. Quality. And um, everyone loves it. Flash forward. She's now a full-time teacher. Yeah. Class is bustling. Her and Jeremy are together. And uh, she's out there recording her music, selling songs, probably getting played on iHeart stations across the country. Mm -hmm. And that, my friends, was Holiday Holiday Harmony. Harmony. We did it. We did it. We're going to take a quick break. We're going to come back. Mm -hmm. We're going to break this movie down here on iHeart Radio. iHeart Radio presents (laughs) Deck the (laughs) Heart. Just kidding. It's Philo. Philo presents it. It's the most beautiful time of the year, and JCPenney Beauty has gifts for all. Shop our newest brand, Smashbox and Too Faced Cosmetics, to check the glam off your list. Give it your all with designer fragrances from Calvin Klein and Dolce & Gabbana. Plus, check out the latest products from Murad Skincare and Olaplex Hair Care. With hundreds of brands and gift ideas, there's something for everyone. Treat yourself to a free mini service from our experts and book an appointment at our salon to get holiday ready today. And as always, shop online 24-7. JCPenney, make your holidays count. Is it possible to predict the unpredictable? Could surgeons use a patient's own anatomy to create 3D-printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making surgery more precise, efficient, and less invasive? Is it possible? It already is. Because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. Philo is so much better than iHeart. They uh, Philo yes. just kind of lets us do what we want to do. That's right. Like do the show you want to do. iHeart would never. No, it would never. And I wasn't saying iHeart presents Deck the Hallmark. I was saying we'll be right back here on iHeart Radio. Just oh yeah, as a joke. yeah, yeah. Like we know everyone knows we're and not. If on. iHeart wants us to like cr- create a new show for them, <laughs> you can call us. Yeah. Prices. Brand will high. change his name and put on a wig and do yeah. the whole thing. No, yeah. no problem. Uh, let's talk about Holiday Harmony. Um, is this the second or third <laughs> Max movie we've seen? I, I, I feel like there was the uh, one. We watched uh, the a kid movie. One, the, the one with the kids breaking into the uh, or like they somebody stole something. I feel yeah, like the Jingle Bells. Yeah, yeah. Um, this might be the second. I don't know. Uh, unless you count the like Food Network ones, which we watched on Max, but it weren't Max. Yeah. There is another Max one out there that we didn't get to, and I'm hoping we're running out of time. We uh, will not get to it this year, which means we probably won't get to it. Um, Let's do this. Let's start with a hot take. Let's share exactly how we felt about this movie. I'm going to start with you, Alonzo. Alonzo, what did you think of Holiday Harmony? Okay, I have to say, expectations play a great deal in in this. And in the opening moments, we get the logo of the company that gave us both of the um, California Christmas movies. Yeah. Uh, And I think also maybe the I Believe in Santa movie. Mm. Uh, And then we get a woman walking into a restaurant kitchen that is as mood lit as the restaurant is. Like everyone's working in the dark. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, what is even happening in this movie? But then, like, she starts singing, and the lady can actually sing. The actress that they cast, like, can do it. She was in Spielberg's West Side Story, so, like, she's not, you know. For a movie that is, we've seen so many movies about, like, a person who's supposed to be good at a thing, and then whenever we see evidence of the thing they do, we realize, oh, no, you are not. Uh, so that that went a long way for me. And I... Like there's a, I have a barrel of wait what's here, and there's a lot that is just sort of ridiculous. But I didn't hate this. Like you've got Brooke Shields, you've yeah. got the the guy from the Peter Pan movie twenty years ago, and like it, it it works more than it doesn't. Like I, I'm not like crazy in love with this movie, but I'm also not here to stomp on it. Like it's it's okay. Yeah. The worst part about this movie is that it's an hour and 50 minutes. It's long. It's That's long. the worst part of this movie. Because yeah. you're right. She's a great singer. And when she's singing, I'm enjoying it. I didn't necessarily like the the the, the sparks weren't flying uh, for me with the with the two of these leads. Um, but 
if it had been, if we trimmed a lot of the fat off this movie, especially in the middle where it just kind of like just chills for a while, I think I would have been a lot higher on it than I, uh, than I am. The, the fact that it's an hour and 50, it, it, it really, it really was a struggle bus. Uh, not just cause their van's broken down. It, it's just like, um, I, and I did, like, I, I, I love, I love her in the classroom. That works for me. Um, the, the overall like journey, like, Hey, I got to get to the, the, the thing for the iHeart cause it could change my life. I'm fine with that. I think it just came down to, I didn't really buy the two leads together and it was 30 minutes too long. Um, but overall fine, just more on the boring side than anything else. Dano. Yeah. I think I'm Alonzo's take, but glass half empty. Like I, <laughs> like it, there's a version of this movie that I really like, but this isn't that version i I think it the version i really like is sister act two yeah i think that but this storyline of whatever it is bad news bears sister act like i like those types of movies but this one takes itself kind of seriously and some of it feels like a movie that was shot for the movie theater uh at times but instead like there were a large stretch of this movie where i had a hard time like locking in like it, it felt like they did they 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 take their their sweet time telling a story that is a very basic story. And so but girl can sing for sure. She can sing at like and, and there's there's talented people involved in the movie. And so it's not an all out disaster, but it isn't something I, I felt like it was just taking a while and it wasn't something that I was really cared if they got together or was excited to see what happened next. And I'm like I like those underdog like stories or this you know this ragtag bunch of kids is now being coached by somebody that's reluctantly coaching them like yeah that's the mighty ducks that's like all the like these movies they know like those are great and this movie tries to dabble in that and it doesn't successfully really do anything but bore it's me, like so. yeah the problem yeah, yeah the problem is is they wanted us to to like care a lot about Bombay's love life, which yeah. we just don't. Yeah. We want Coach Bombay coaching the Ducks. That's what we want. <laughs> quack, so quack, like quack, Mr. Ducksworth. That's I think they really put a lot of stock into us caring about the two of these. Uh, yeah, because you I mean it, you could have the road trip musician breaks down, has an affair with the mechanic story. You can have the musician gets stuck in a small town and has to teach a music class story but this is giving you all of that and right. getting to LA and coming back yes. to LA and it's like and yeah, also it and has saying this, I heart a thousand times probably a, a, yeah probably a wait what as well but it has this we'll do anything to help you aside from give you money vibe to it that is more horror movie do you know what I mean it's like oh your van's broke that sucks we have a lot of solutions, <laughs> and all of them involve you hanging around here for two weeks, um, and and then we'll figure it out from there. And that is always a fun little catch in any storyline that I hate. So, you know, there's that that it had going against it as well. Uh, let's get to the feels, where we talk about what in this movie gave us those Christmas feels or feels of any sort, really. Alonzo. Uh, yeah, uh, really. Just like I said, the casting. I think I I I, I was impressed when when Annalise Sapero opens her mouth and like you know a a decent acapella version of Shadows of the Night comes out. I was like, oh, okay, so this is going to be better than I thought it was going to be. Uh, Brooke Shields. I did not look at the IMDb page before starting, so it was well into her first scene where I was like, oh, oh, that's Brooke Shields. I you said, know, is that? Thing. I said it out. Is that Brooke Shields? Like, I yeah. really was caught off guard by that. So that was that was thing, and, and and Jeremy Sumter was like, God, where do I know this guy? And like, yep. I looked up, and if you've never seen the 2003 Peter Pan, yep. directed by uh, P. J. Hogan, who did My Best Friend's Wedding, it's really good. And I remember Dave and I went to that thinking like. If this sucks, like after half an hour, we'll leave. We just kind of felt like we needed to see it. But it's like another Peter Pan movie. What could they possibly be doing? And we both kind of turned to each other. And it was like, oh, oh no, this is actually good. Like, let's stay and, and watch this whole thing. So, it, it's you know, he he's, I think, a charming romantic lead. Are there, like, crazy sparks between the two of them? I mean, it's this is no saving Christmas spirit. Like, those two had a thing going. Yeah. But it's fine. It's whatever. Um but yeah, feels wise, like this, this is, I think, also in that category of like, apart from the fact that iHeart does do a big Christmas concert every year, does this have to be a Christmas movie? Is this a Christmas movie? Barely. Who was your best friend's name? I got married. My what? 
You said he did your best no, friend's wedding. No, my best friend's <laughs> Hi, guys. Oh I know. I'm doing a joke. Gosh. I'm doing a bit here. I'm doing a bit. It was, wow. <laughs> it was funny, though, right? Sure, Brent. It was a little bit funny. It was a little bit funny. No. Because <laughs> you said he did. Yep. PJ Hogan, director. <laughs> he directed this movie, and he directed my best friend's wedding. Not. No. Yeah, but he said he did my best friend's wedding, which is like, oh it's, like it's, it's funny. Oh it's funny God. because it's like, like who's your best friend? Hey, uh, my feels anytime um, <laughs> a, a kid is timid and then is a great singer. I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm a sucker for it. It always works for me. And that's exactly what we got here. Did I like the song <laughs> that they sang? Not particularly, but uh, she was great. The little girl that just has a, that crazy great voice. And so uh, I was here for that. Dana? Uh, there's a lady in town named Rachel. Uh, she's played by an actor named Carla Jimenez. And uh, she tries for com- comedic relief regularly. Sometimes the script lets her down. But there's a scene where she holds a deer in head like <laughs> look at the restaurant. And it is downright impressive. Yeah. She has her eyes so wide open and the camera holds on her and she doesn't blink for what seems like an eternity. It's really <laughs> funny. And just, I was impressed. I was impressed by the performance there and it did make my there feels. You go. She's, she's a scene stealer. Yeah, yeah she, was she is for sure. Uh, let's take one more quick break. We'll come back and we will get to the wait what and the uh, take it to the max here on Deck the Hallmark. Deck the Hallmark. It's the most beautiful time of the year, and JCPenney Beauty has gifts for all. Shop our newest brand, Smashbox and Too Faced Cosmetics, to check the glam off your list. Give it your all with designer fragrances from Calvin Klein and Dolce & Gabbana. Plus, check out the latest products from Murad Skincare and Olaplex Hair Care. With hundreds of brands and gift ideas, there's something for everyone. Treat yourself to a free mini service from our experts and book an appointment at our salon to get holiday ready today. And as always, shop online 24-7. JCPenney, make your holidays count. Is it possible to predict the unpredictable? Could surgeons use a patient's own anatomy to create 3D-printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making surgery more precise, efficient, and less invasive? Is it possible? It already is. Because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. Because it's it's like you, you we did I'm get, sh- we did get carried away with that terrible joke, and I didn't have time to tell you that I actually didn't like that version of Peter Pan, the PJ Hogan oh. version. I remember the trailer came out, and it had Coldplay clocks from Coldplay, and everybody was like, "Whoa, this is some cool artistic version of Peter Pan." And I remember seeing it and just feeling like. And then we talked about it in the office while we were watching this movie yesterday. Like the three of us all adore Hook, and anyone over the age of fifty hates Hook. Like you guys all are monsters, and you all hate Hook. Okay. All okay. every Gen Xer got every Gen Xer got together and said Hook sucks, right? Great. And all of us kids are like, no, Hook is amazing. Was it great, or were you eight? Both. I was not eight. I didn't watch it till I was an adult. Can I tell you this? Okay, I was a, Brian, I, you get an ass to <laughs> Can I tell you this, Alonzo? The best part about this is, is I was exactly eight. <laughs> Boom. Boom. So, but the thing is, is that I was 20 when Pan, Peter Pan came out with Jeremy Sumter, mm. and I was like, it wasn't my thing. Like, uh, you know, I just felt like everybody just kind of wasn't exactly what I wanted him to be in the movie, and it was just fine. Next uh, thing you know, you're going to tell me you don't like Baby Driver, and then we're and then we're going to have a problem. <laughs> Look, just I, I, this is a public service announcement, though. Never ever watch Pan. Oh gosh, no! <laughs> what a mess that thing is with Ooh, Hugh Jackman. Yes, yes, as as Captain Hook. Woof! Yeah, do not. The movie was a mess. The co- it was the 3D was cool on it. But the movie was no, Ugh, no way. Three well. D was cool on it. That's what it says on the on yeah. the DVD. Three D was, cool was cool on it. On it. You can't <laughs> with this DVD. You can't. But you can't, just three D was cool. Way. Think Imagine about you it. Had the opportunity Imagine. to see it. Imagine it in three D. Uh, let's get to the wait. What? Looks no Jupiter ascending, and I've said that for years. <laughs> That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> is it isn't Jupiter ascending? <laughs> no lies detected. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, oh, let's get to the wait. What? That's where we talk about what in this movie made us go. Wait, what? Something that you would probably say when you find out that Alonzo doesn't like Hook. Um, Alonzo, <laughs> what did you think about uh, this? Anyway, what's? 
Oh, I have a couple. Um, all right. So again, that the dimly lit restaurant, she, she lugs in this like internet ring light lady. That's not going to do no. you any good no. in that room. No like, way. No how like if it's this far from your face, sure. But like down in the, no, just what? Don't even bother. Uh, the, um, the whole thing about like hashtag van life. I'm like, Oh, so this is like nomad land, but it's cute. <laughs> you know, we're never going to see her poop in a bucket. Fine. You didn't, that's, uh, that's you, didn't, good. you didn't get to nomad land. You didn't get there. Um, <laughs> best picture winner. Yeah. No. I, th- no, the I don't. Director think I did, did uh, the the Marvel movie Eternals. Yeah, Eternals. Yeah, mm-hmm. no, I no. definitely didn't get to Eternals. Yeah. I feel like I did see Nomadland, but maybe I'm going crazy. There's another Fran- Francis McDormand. Yeah. I don't know. I have to go back and see a lot of trailer parks. Anyway, yeah. Uh, uh, okay, they, he so she arrives in the the town and they go to the bar and the guy sits down and says, "Too mixed." What is that? <laughs> Is this a thing I don't know? You just asked the bartender for a mixed drink. Two mix. It's like, uh, give me a beer. You just order two mixed drinks, and <laughs> you can mix any any alcohol with it's any a, non alcohol. It's a Harvey Wall banger. That's right. And a Sex on the Beach. That's right. Enjoy. Here's like, a uh, creme de menthe and cherry coke. Here you're <laughs> <laughs> you asked for a mixed drink, huh? <laughs> mixed is what you're getting. Two um, you, you've heard the expression, you know, grant me the confidence of a mediocre white man. I'm going to add to that. <laughs> grant me the confidence of a singer in a bar who picks up a guitar and and just starts launches into a song without checking to see if the thing is in tune. Yeah. 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 Like, who knows how long that thing's been sitting there. Or if the sound just, is That working. is confidence unlike anything you've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, she's yeah. just full steam ahead. Yeah. Um, it is not an honor to give your mom the first pancake. Uh, the first pancake generally is the one that doesn't work. <laughs> Like there's an expression about like, you know, you throw out the first pancake. It's a thing they say when you talk about like editing your own writing and stuff like the first pancake is generally speaking hot garbage. That's probably our problem. We've never, we always just go with the first one. That's right. <laughs> we actually, we eat exclusively never, first pancakes. We've never gotten oh, past pancake. the first pancake. It's <laughs> always the first pancake. Yeah. So, uh, Brian, I'm, I'm glad that you liked that Whispery Girl turns out to be like a, a heck of a singer, which is, yes, that is a fun trope. I do like it. She's also a font of wisdom. <laughs> yes, like, she is. She yes, is she is. Like one aphorism after another, like she's a walking fortune cookie. Um, so, okay, we are told that the 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 class is meeting at 8 a.m. because school's out for Christmas break, but they're they're there to rehearsal to, to rehearse. And she gets there, and they they start, and it's a five minute rehearsal, and everybody goes home. That's right. Yep. Yep. <laughs> you mean, got like, you. They're, they're fighting over the cubby holes, and then bam, they're out of there. You you had the entire music department come in during Christmas break yeah. for a five minute. Rehearsal. Imagine loading your twins up. <laughs> Oh. Dropping them off oh. at school and getting a call. Hey, Dad, we're, would, we're done. I would start twitching. Dad, we're I would done. be. I would be. In the phone oh room. no! 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 We're no, done. No, no. no way. <laughs> you put a. She put a book on our stomach and said, "Get out of here." That's right. <laughs> exactly. We are done. So, uh, I mean, on the one hand, you really can't blame Scarlett for being interested in the one guy in town that is her age. Apparently, <laughs> yeah. that's right. That's right. Because everyone else in this town is either a child or much older. That's so, so uh, it, you know. However, that does not forgive the fact that what she does to Gail is, uh, Daniel. Have you seen Alfred Hitchcock's Rebecca? No, I don't think so. Okay, you don't want to. She totally <laughs> misses. <laughs> Uh, Bran, have you seen? Uh, I have not. I just want to be asked. I just want to be asked. That's fair. Fair. You're right. You're right. I should not. I should not have skipped you. Uh, (laughs) Yes, you should have. Yes, you should have. What's the name of your best friend? (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, go ahead. I'm I'm coming to Greenville soon, and I will be hitting you. Um, She totally misses Danvers, uh, uh, our, our heroine, in Rebecca. Uh, the the Mrs. Danvers is the evil maid who loved Rebecca, the first wife, and she's out to like ruin the second wife. So she tells second wife, "Oh, you know what you should do for this big costume ball? See that portrait over there? You should dress like that, and it would be really great, and everybody will love it." And the second wife's like, "Okay, yeah, fine." And she puts the dress on, and she shows up the doll, and everybody looks at her aghast, including her husband. Turns out that's what Rebecca wore the night she died. Oops. Oh. 
So, so yeah, she totally misses Danvers her into redecorating the studio apartment to look exactly like the yeah. brother had it, and she falls for it. It's so one I guess, of the worst ideas I've ever heard. Yeah. Yes. How could you fall for that? Well, she also didn't see Rebecca clearly That's because, fair. like, That's I saw fair. that one coming a mile away. Yeah. Um, she uh, she re- she records a twenty second Christmas song for iHeartRadio, <laughs> yeah, and but- she tells she tells dude, I need somebody to help me record this, and it's she needs somebody to hold the phone while she sits on the edge of her camper van and sings it. I'm like, no, you needed a tripod. Yeah, that's what that you was, need. That really, that's you did not need a, a person. That's where that ring light and tripod would have come in handy. It would have come in handy. Yes, yeah, and I think I think I think the the, the ring light does get uh, unleashed for that one as well. <laughs> uh, classic misunderstood kiss. We we all saw it coming, and we are like, well, like this is what we're gonna do. Um, okay, have you seen the 1954 A Star Is Born with Judy Garland? No. I have seen some of it. Okay. Not all of it. So she gets she gets her, her big screen test chance, and the makeup people descend upon her and completely yep. transform her into something else entirely. They put a blonde wig on her. They give her, like, a, they, they put a thing on her nose. Like, it's a whole thing. So they totally, she gets to L.A., and they totally <laughs> Vicky Lester her with that. She's and been like, Mrs. Danvers and Vicky Lester? Man, yeah, unbelievable. One movie. In the like, same still week. standing. Good gosh. I love, I love the screenwriter loves the classics. Like, they give her new eyebrows. She's got a wig, the spangly dress. Uh, she is basically descended upon by gays and sparkly people, yeah. which apparently... <laughs> According to this movie, will ruin you. <laughs> and those gays and sparkly people are brought to you by iHeartRadio. That's, That's right. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so you don't there, really meet anyone with any sort of personality. And then all of a sudden, the, at iHeart, everyone's out to get her. It's yeah. crazy. So bold of iHeart to sign off on a movie that makes them look terrible. Although, admittedly, I, I suppose yeah. that the person who comes to the rescue is also from iHeart, so that's supposed to make up for it. Um, they, part of the thing of the crazy makeovers, they give her enormous fingernails yeah. and then send her out to play the guitar. Good Classic. luck, man. Classic. That's, Good luck. That's going to be a problem, I think. I mean, not that you can't do both, but she's just getting used to them and like, come on. Um, the the Oklahoma <laughs> song. Oh. It, oh. I'll tell you, it is very accurate. Oh, 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 Oklahoma. Oklahoma. It, it accurately reflects the kind of song that got written in a hurry for a class of children to sing. I will give it that much. <laughs> but uh, the fact that part of the song is to let you know that Oklahoma has olives. Uh, I just, <laughs> and that, hey, Alonzo, and this is one of my white what's and probably brands, but that song won. That was oh, the yeah. that was the winning uh, song, and we got to hear. We got to hear some of the other ones. Some of the other ones, <laughs> which was good, were all better than that one. But here's the thing: if you're if if the if, the, if this county in Oklahoma somehow has five thousand dollars to award to a song, do you think they're going to go for a like a, a cool orchestration of an existing Christmas carol, or for like a Chamber of Commerce song yeah, that touts of the virtues of how great Oklahoma is? Yeah, but I mean, that's kind of a no. I would say they probably like if, if they could have made it about their city, they probably would have. Oh, had they, better... you know, they did. They, they did. did that in as well. Yes, okay, they talk I, about Harmony Spring. As soon as it started, they started rapping like i got those cringe chills do you know what i mean <laughs> yeah, yeah. where it's just like i don't i don't want any i can't this is t- this is tough this is tough yeah to watch. it's like do yeah. i do i need to go to the bathroom like i don't know what's <laughs> happening right now and then finally i i love that we did get a don't make me sing because like oh know, yeah really don't it. make me sing it was just a classic one wheelhouse don't oh my guitar's here oh it's here Are this you guitar sure? you don't want me to t- i don't this oh, is, oh no. this is about the kids okay what number and we're in e here we go <laughs> e flat got <laughs> Um, I have a few. One, the the, the dimly uh, lit bar at the beginning apparently is a request only bar, yeah. which is my nightmare. Um, I I I want to play what I want to play and give me a request, sure, but request only. Yeah, T- that's tough because that's, that's tough. just gonna be wagon wheel. Every other song yeah. that <laughs> Tell the me amount I'm not of, in for wagon wheel the, every other song. The though. amount of times it's wagon wheel, it's purple rain, it's 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 uh, it's it's all the songs. Free bird, you, free bird, it's all of them. Every time I'm gonna do wagon wheel at Bramble Fest karaoke next yeah, year. You, just you would do you. great. No, I, I I like the song <laughs> fine. It should, but it's my same thing. It's just like, how many times can we dance to the cha cha slide? Like ever? Like the can you imagine being? Exist. No, it's imagine being a anymore. DJ no, do it, do it. and multiple times a week. It's like, all right, slide people, the left. I got the dance floor <laughs> is uh, losing steam. I know what the will cheer people up. The cha cha slide every time. Yeah. 
Every time. For the last 30 years. But it's, 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 it's amazing. A request yeah, I, only. I, I thought the guy was going to be like J.K. Simmons in La La Land and be like, hey, play something Christmassy. No, no, no. I did no. too. It's requests. Request only. That's you're, tough. You're dragging also. Total request live. Request only. Um, so there is a, a couple of times in this movie where they say things that I that aren't sayings and that I expect them to finish differently, such as let's just say it takes two to agree to be a couple. <laughs> yep. It's, it's not. It takes two to tango. It's it takes two to, to agree, agree to be, to be a couple. couple. Which I love. I love that he started the like he finds out that she's writing the Oklahoma song and and he's like, Man, the last time they had a teacher that did that, the kids really liked it. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be really bad news. Yeah, yeah. That's actually foreboding. It's probably the best thing that's Jer- ever happened. Jeremy Sumter, I don't think he had the gear to start off optimistic. <laughs> well the last time the this last happened, time that happened. I don't want to say it, but it went uh, like gangbusters. Yeah, but they <laughs> really loved it. We won the whole thing, man. So we talk about it every day, actually. Um, and to to, um, to just harp a little bit more, it, what was I heart thinking? <laughs> this is yeah. such a wild thing. It is a movie that goes, you know how you think the music industry is? It's exactly like that. That's what it's this movie worse. is. It is like that, and we're going to put our name on it and say, yes, we are monsters. <laughs> that is what we do. Yeah. Um, and there's one, of course, there's one there's, good person. Yeah, occasionally, the there's of a course, good person here. Of there, course, there is. Most of the time, we're going to try to change what you are and who you are at your very core. 99% <laughs> of the people that work at iHeartMedia are the worst, and yeah. we're fine with that. Please say our name a thousand times. That's right. We don't want to be missed. To camera. We don't want to be misrepresented. <laughs> we want people to know. Know who we are. We are who we thought they were, and I let them off the hook. Dano, um, I most of mine have been taken, and you guys have done an expert job. A couple more to throw at you. This request only bar is only by artist name only, so it's not just request only. He's like, how about Johnny Cash? That's what he says, and yeah. she can play any Johnny Cash song she wants. So that's kind of fascinating and also terrifying at the same time. Um. She says, I'm from Miami, Florida. At least that's what they tell me. Wait, what? Do you think there's a chance you're not? Do you think you're announcing that and you're just not sure if you're from Miami, Florida? Like, could be a lie. Could be a lie. Could be a lie. Um, is this some kind of weird modern day school like Win Calls the Heart where kids that are seven <laughs> go to school with kids that are 15? Because her music classroom has a child in it. Like a non, like a, like maybe five or six years old and then has several kids that are 12 or 13 years old in it. And it's like a supposedly a public school. Like they threw just a hodgepodge beluga of kids in the room. And they were like, yeah, these kids all go to the same school. Just trust us on this. Mm-hmm. And, and it just turns out they have to sing in a district wide competition. That's one of those classic district wide singing competitions for schools that has a cash prize. <laughs> what? Every we school. We have to shut down the music program because we had a, a I... giant $5,000 check for whoever wins this. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's going to can... sway us one way or the other. That's going to pay for a month of a teacher, maybe. <laughs> I like, I, I got to be honest. I, every every children's singing school singing thing I've ever seen has those dumb ratings, excellent and superior and yeah. ju- just meh. Like everybody gets everybody gets excellent or superior. I don't really know what the other ones are, but it's like excellent, superior, or not those standard. Two. Um, <laughs> And, and, up. <laughs> and this one is for five G's. These kids are pawns, man. These kids are on <laughs> strings. They are singing. So someone, he's already offered a percentage of that money to this woman. Like he's basically like, listen, children, you need to sing so I can give cold, hard cash to this woman over here. <laughs> I, I, I think what this movie doesn't understand about music programs is that they are that they're intended to be a class that you go to and not an extracurricular because they have that conversation that conversation early on about like well there's only five kids you know they're just not yeah. worth the expenditure yeah. I'm like well yeah if you make it voluntary sure that's right but like that's if right you make it a class that's that right. everybody goes to that's then right it's different yeah, yeah yeah little little cart before the horse so yeah. nobody's interested that's my favorite especially at private schools that Gosh, are like, I well, wish I, mean, I, I we'd w- love to have this but nobody shows up well 
Why do you think that is? I we wish. can do this in a circle all day. I, I wish I had the math because not enough kids wanted to take oh, it. <laughs> I wish I had the option to not learn the recorder, but I didn't have that option. I was forced <laughs> yes. to learn recorder. And, and you better believe in high school, I found out there was a way to not take chemistry, and I did it. I found out, I read the, the credits needed. I read what I needed to graduate with honors. And I was like, so if I take physical science, biology, physics, and environmental science, I don't have to take chemistry. They're like, well, I guess technically, but that's not the order you take those in. And I'm like, sign me up. I didn't take chemistry. Never took it. Never took it in high school or college because I hated it. And I was like, don't, don't want to deal with it. So people are going to get out of what they want to get out of. And if you require it, then you got a better chance of somebody finding their passion. Pretty straightforward. Yeah. Man, you're so cool. Right. No chemistry yeah. for me. Not on my watch. Yeah, it shows. Uh, let's get to the... <laughs> let's take it to the max. Your uh, friend, was he happy with the direction of his wedding? <laughs> or was it more of... <laughs> sure, you laugh at Dan. You laugh at Dan's version it's of the joke. It's all about delivery. It's all about <laughs> delivery, Brian. I don't know what you want from me. Uh, let's get to uh, the max thing. Uh, what are you still wondering about, Alonzo? Uh, um, well, I mean, part of me is wondering, like, if the guy who made the California Christmas movies, when given a little more money and some, like, actual actors, can make something that's less terrible. So I, I think that's really the that's the Christmas lesson here that I, I took away. Um, I, I, I do want to I mean, this isn't so much a, to the max is just a like I want to give this movie credit for the fact that it doesn't make. The, her career and LA and either or yes you know that she can stay in Oklahoma and actually have a music career and that makes sense because everybody's music career now is based on the internet and touring you know so like she doesn't have to you know you don't have to physically be in Nashville or in Los Angeles or in New York or whatever to do that and so I give the movie points for that um but yeah, I, I, I think my takeaway is like, okay, so even the people who are responsible for some of the worst things we've ever seen can can do better when they're given some resources. And so, uh, you know, I guess get, hand hand a bad producer a giant check and maybe they'll surprise you. Yeah, I do like that she didn't have to choose either or. I will say it is uh, going to be a tough journey being a, to be a, a teacher, teacher and... and- a singer. She like yeah. she literally has a thing on the wall that says like best song or something like that. So like yeah. clearly she's doing it. So I just at at some point one of those is going to have to give, right? Like yeah. the either the music the music uh class is thriving. Kids are signing up. It's full. But also like I've got I got to do the 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 music. So I don't know. I don't know what she's going to do. Yeah. The montage tells you she's doing it with no real answers as to how but whatever mm. i and i think like yeah i think that is the biggest question i want to know if they ever paint the van do they ever paint the van <laughs> they do everything to pimp that ride out aside from paint it and if you fixed everything and redone the inside why not slap a coat of paint on that bad boy and let's complete the task like why not just do that do they ever do that is all i'm asking uh he is single-handedly building a house so That's true. you know That's like, true. You know, he's, he's got doing a full, it all. Full, full docket he's yeah. doing it all uh well we did everybody congratulations we are going to be back next Ooh. week with our uh, our final non scary Christmas right. movie, oh, oh, okay. uh, because it's it's the last uh, week of September, we are watching a Christmas Karen. Okay, on Pluto. <laughs> on Pluto. All right, Fair. that's where it originally aired. I, th- I believe it's available in uh, like everywhere. Like, look under a rock. I think it'll be there. <laughs> gotcha. So, have Adam. I love a it. Christmas Karen. Christmas what Karen. We're watching next week. Oh, um, until then, may we be the first to wish you a Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Deck the Hallmark is a Bramble Jam podcast. It's produced by Aaron Shea. What? For more information on Deck the Hallmark, you can go to deckthehallmark.com. For more information on the Deck the Hallmark family, you can go to bramblejamplus.com. Deck the Hallmark is presented by Philo TV. For a free trial of Philo, go to philo.tv slash DTH. You're about to hear some ads that help keep the lights on here in the old studio. Thanks for listening or don't listen. It's really up to you at this point. It's at the end of the show. I mean, you're listening to me. Hi. But here they come. I promise they're coming. Yep. Here they are. Happy day. 
It's the most beautiful time of the year, and JCPenney Beauty has gifts for all. Shop our newest brand, Smashbox and Too Faced Cosmetics, to check the glam off your list. Give it your all with designer fragrances from Calvin Klein and Dolce & Gabbana. Plus, check out the latest products from Murad Skincare and Olaplex Hair Care. With hundreds of brands and gift ideas, there's something for everyone. Treat yourself to a free mini service from our experts and book an appointment at our salon to get holiday ready today. And as always, shop online 24-7. JCPenney, make your holidays count. The spacious new Volkswagen Atlas. It does life beautifully. Is it possible to predict the unpredictable? Could surgeons use a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making surgery more precise, efficient, and less invasive? Is it possible? It already is. Because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. Whether you're making the same breakfast that you have every day or baking a cake for an extra special day, eggs are a staple in our diets. Eggland's best eggs are nutritionally superior to ordinary eggs, containing six times more vitamin D and double the omega-3s. Not only are they better for you, but Eggland's best eggs taste better too. There's a reason that they're America's number one eggs. Visit egglandsbest.com for additional information and delicious recipes. Wayfair is ready to make your holiday season even more joyful. Shop all things home for you and everyone on your gift list with an incredible selection of furniture, decor, and more. All with an amazing value that'll make this holiday season the best one yet. And right now, Wayfair is turning up the savings even more with huge deals and sales. Plus, thousands of items ship fast and free. Head to Wayfair.com or download the Wayfair app in the App Store to shop the latest limited deals so you can deck it all. It's the most beautiful time of the year, and JCPenney Beauty has gifts for all. Shop our newest brand, Smashbox and Too Faced Cosmetics, to check the glam off your list. Give it your all with designer fragrances from Calvin Klein and Dolce & Gabbana. Plus, check out the latest products from Murad Skincare and Olaplex Hair Care. With hundreds of brands and gift ideas, there's something for everyone. Treat yourself to a free mini service from our experts and book an appointment at our salon to get holiday ready today. And as always, shop online 24-7. JCPenney, make your holidays count. The spacious new Volkswagen Atlas. It does life beautifully. Is it possible to predict the unpredictable? Could surgeons use a patient's own anatomy to create 3D printed life-size organ models to map out challenges ahead of time, making surgery more precise, efficient, and less invasive? Is it possible? It already is. Because every day we're doing what's never been done. Learn more at mayoclinic.org slash possible. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. Whether you're making the same breakfast that you have every day or baking a cake for an extra special day, 
Eggs are a staple in our diets. Eggland's best eggs are nutritionally superior to ordinary eggs, containing six times more vitamin D and double the omega-3s. Not only are they better for you, but Eggland's best eggs taste better too. There's a reason that they're America's number one eggs. Visit egglandsbest.com for additional information and delicious recipes. Wayfair is ready to make your holiday season even more joyful. Shop all things home for you and everyone on your gift list with an incredible selection of furniture, decor, and more. All with an amazing value that'll make this holiday season the best one yet. And right now, Wayfair is turning up the savings even more with huge deals and sales. Plus, thousands of items ship fast and free. Head to Wayfair.com or download the Wayfair app in the App Store to shop the latest limited deals so you can deck it all. It's the most beautiful time of the year, and JCPenney Beauty has gifts for all. Shop our newest brand, Smashbox and Too Faced Cosmetics, to check the glam off your list. Give it your all with designer fragrances from Calvin Klein and Dolce & Gabbana. Plus, check out the latest products from Murad Skincare and Olaplex Hair Care. With hundreds of brands and gift ideas, there's something for everyone. Treat yourself to a free mini service from our experts and book an appointment at our salon to get holiday ready today. And as always, shop online 24-7. JCPenney, make your holidays count. The spacious new Volkswagen Atlas. It does life beautifully. Is it possible to predict the unpredictable? Can 3D printed life-size organ models help to map out complex surgeries ahead of time? Is it possible? It already is right here. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. Whether you're making the same breakfast that you have every day or baking a cake for an extra special day, Eggs are a staple in our diets. Eggland's best eggs are nutritionally superior to ordinary eggs, containing more vitamins and 25% less saturated fat. Not only are they better for you, but Eggland's best eggs taste better too. There's a reason that they're America's number one eggs. Visit egglandsbest.com for additional information and delicious recipes. Wayfair is ready to make your holiday season even more joyful. Shop all things home for you and everyone on your gift list with an incredible selection of furniture, decor, and more. All with an amazing value that'll make this holiday season the best one yet. And right now, Wayfair is turning up the savings even more with huge deals and sales. Plus, thousands of items ship fast and free. Head to Wayfair.com or download the Wayfair app in the App Store to shop the latest limited deals so you can deck it all. Did love. 
Spacious new Volkswagen Atlas. It does life beautifully. Is it possible to predict the unpredictable? Can 3D printed life size organ models help to map out complex surgeries ahead of time? Is it possible? It already is right here. Mayo Clinic. You know where to go. Whether you're making the same breakfast that you have every day or baking a cake for an extra special day, eggs are a staple in our diets. Eggland's best eggs are nutritionally superior to ordinary eggs, containing six times more vitamin D and double the omega-3s. Not only are they better for you, but Eggland's best eggs taste better too. There's a reason that they're America's number one eggs. Visit egglandsbest.com for additional information and delicious recipes. Wayfair is ready to make your holiday season even more joyful. Shop all things home for you and everyone on your gift list with an incredible selection of furniture, decor, and more. All with an amazing value that'll make this holiday season the best one yet. And right now, Wayfair is turning up the savings even more with huge deals and sales. Plus, thousands of items ship fast and free. Head to Wayfair.com or download the Wayfair app in the App Store to shop the latest limited deals so you can deck it all. Looking for a fun way to win up to 25 times your money this basketball season? Test your skills on Prize Picks, the most exciting way to play daily fantasy sports. Just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. You could turn $10 into $250. Right now, Prize Picks will match your first deposit up to $100. Just visit prizepicks.com/fan and use code FAN. That's code FAN at prizepicks.com/fan. Must be present in certain states. Visit prizepicks.com for restrictions and details.